I love what you just said about you don't just make these welding rods. And that's what's wrong with marketing. And that's why it's broken. And so we do welding rods. We have the best welding rods. They last longer. They're eco-friendly, whatever. Totally selling them short on the true value that you're helping them reveal. I'd love to hear more about how you sit and work with them to get them to recognize that. What's the process that you take them to, through? So we've retooled our entire process uh, over the last three years and it starts, every, everybody has to start literally with story brand mm -hmm. where we, we talk about positioning in two ways. One is positioning the company as to what's their authority and expertise and credibility. Um, and then positioning the customer. And when you think about, most, most companies don't think about positioning the customer. They don't think about what, what role does my brand play in the customer's life and what difference does it make to them? And then we start moving through this, you know, either it's a value conversation, what kind of value do you deliver to them? Uh, how, how do you invite them into a story so that they feel like either they are part of the solution that you provide or that you know, the solution that you're providing can help them solve a problem. And there's, there's a little bit of a distinction there depending on the organization, but it's again, it drives back to creating engagement, helping build a community around the brand where it doesn't feel like it's all about the brand or it's really all about the customer, of course. And, um, and so, and then from there talking about, well, okay, if we know this is how we need to invite customers into the story, what are the touch points that that looks like? And boy, that's where it gets fun because touch points can be all of the things that we all love doing, you know, so we've laid out the strategy, but what, uh, but what are the tactics then that put that strategy into action? Uh, and, and whether that's the whole uh, marketing ecosystem that's digital, which can include automation, of course, and all the things that we love and the website and nurturing those relationships. Um, back to you know, what's the physical, what is the physical interaction that people have with products we produce and um, not only the packaging, but the experience of using the products because nobody loves to get a beautiful package and then feel frustrated by not being able to utilize what's in the box, right? That used to be such a joke about that packaging you couldn't open. You had to have scissors mm -hmm. and then you risk impaling yourself while you're trying to open that. That's like the worst sure. example of, of a human experience, right? Right. But it is, you know, if we think about marketing in this, this sense, in the, in the broadest sense, that what we're doing is two things. One is creating trust relationships between the customer and the business. And the other is, is, well, and then that flows into building relationships. I mean, those are the two key roles. It's not to sell stuff. If we build the relationship and people trust us, they're going to say, hello, here's my money. You know, I need what you have to offer because you've, you've told me you solve, you can solve my problem. You can help me overcome this challenge. All of those things that are meaningful to the customer and important to the brand, but really more meaningful to the customer. We hear that all the time, build trust, build trust, build trust. But it's like, okay, is there like a, a supplement I take or something to build trust? But it's amazing how powerful when your messaging conveys, I understand you, I know what you're struggling with, you're safe here. That's how you're building trust. That's a collateral benefit of really getting your messaging clear. It is. And I think it, it makes, it makes the brand memorable because you've created a deeper connection. It's, it's on an emotional level. Um, when I talk about story, I talk about engaging the heart and mind, you know, and too often we lead with facts and data, which of course engages the mind, but that's where we need to make that jump over into, into story that, turns those facts and that data into something that comes alive that touches the heart mm -hmm. and, and and there's there's specific ways to do that that we found that work and um, that's why that's why design is important as part of this conversation because the photos the colors the tactile feature even the typography 
brings it to life and it helps people feel in their heart what they see with their eyes and think with their mind. Mm -hmm.